want to welcome all of His Glory Nation from east to west to north to south as we bring you today's Take 5. Today is Sunday, February 9th, February 9th. So we're nine days into February already, uh, and this is, this is a Sunday. Um, next week, the 16th, we are shooting for our first live His Glory Sunday service. We'll be doing that at 12, uh, 12 p.m. on the Eastern Time Zone. So uh, be prepared for that as we go out to the nations uh, in a live broadcast of His Glory his glory Sunday service. All right, so look forward to that. This week, just kind of uh, some um, talking points on this week. This week, uh, we have construction coming to the studio during the day. Uh, they're re redoing the carpeting again. Uh, they screwed it up the first time, and it's only taken six months for them to come out and try to fix this. So anyway, Tuesday and Wednesday of this coming week, uh, we will be going later than normal. We'll have to wait till the workers go home because it'll be too loud in here, and I don't want to take the studio somewhere else. Uh, Tuesday night, we will be doing our prayer, or actually Wednesday this week, we will be doing the prayer. We are going to bring back the whistleblower for part three this week, probably towards the end of the week. Uh, also, we might have some uh, uh, another surprise guest, but also we may have a guest, just a little teaser here, a guest that comes in and explains the reset, has some ties to the reset. How about that? We're getting closer. So uh, on Sunday of last week, uh, this last week has gone by crazy fast, but Sunday of last week, I got uh, intelligence. One of my sources said, uh, you have to watch Glenn Beck. I think Glenn Beck came out on Monday with his final piece. I think he called it the Ukraine final piece. Uh, if you're following us on Twitter, it's his glory me. I just tweeted this out again. Uh, but uh, I didn't get a chance to get to it. My source says, you've got to watch this Glenn Beck because Glenn Beck is taking what Rudy has. It's the final piece of the Ukrainian puzzle. It ties into the whistleblower uh, that was on his glory. Uh, it also ties into much deeper into the deep state that you've been talking about. Remember, we said it was more than the Bidens. We've been saying that a long time. Well, now Glenn Beck is coming to show that. Uh, and we're going to talk about that in a minute, too. Uh, so if you haven't seen the Glenn Beck show, the Ukrainian final piece, you must go see that. It is very detailed and it'll give you a bigger picture. He took it to a pretty deep level, but th when the IMF is involved in this, uh, uh, it's deeper. This goes back to the deep state. It goes even deeper, deeper, deeper than that. It goes back to the 13 bloodlines of Satan. Again, they want a war with Russia, they use proxy wars for money, they use proxy wars to, uh, to enrich themselves, and they use proxy wars to try to uh, bring us to a third world war with Russia. It's always been about Russia, uh, just the, the, the other people. All right, so if you have a chance to do that, we're gonna go into some details of um, what Glenn Beck talked about, and then we're gonna go in and kind of summarize what the whistleblower came on his glory tv to talk about too and how these pieces fit together again we we labeled this the puzzle and q came out with a post and somebody somebody tried to at me last week and said on february 6 you brought an old article out about the the uh cheese pizza i think it was cheese pizza uh, why are you bringing that out? it's old it was two years old why are you bringing that out well two days later q posted the exact same article Lucky guess, lucky guess. You know, even a blind squirrel finds an acorn every now and then, right? All right, let's get into the news on this Sunday, the February 9th. Uh, I can't believe again, we're nine days. This is leap year, 29 days this, this, this month. So we have 20 more days of the month of February. Then we go into March, March. Uh, will we have an early spring? Um, I hope so. I hope so. I don't like winter. All right. Um, let's get into it. Uh, New York Times in the AP uh, says you can't trust the results of the, of the uh, Iowa caucus. Tom Perez was calling for a re-canvas of the Iowa caucus. Okay, so if you're, not, um, if you're not familiar with Tom Perez, he is the DNC leader. <laughs> Leaders like this. <laughs> wow. Debbie Wasserman Schultz and Tom Perez, the same Tom Perez that says, if you are not pro-abortion and you're not pro-gay rights, 
You can't be a Democrat. You can't make this stuff up. That's what he said. Well, anyway, he says they can't trust the results in, in uh, Iowa, and they need to re-canvas. The New York Times and the AP saying, we can't trust it either. Remember that we said the software goes to what the whistleblower was talking about? We'll go back and double back to the whistleblower and try to explain it in layman terms so people can understand it. Um, the, the majority of the people that saw the whistleblower loved it, even though it was a little deep. We'll try to explain it a little bit. Only had one at me. And I, you just have to write, you just got to pray for the people when they, when they do this. Um, and I'm not even, I'm not even going to bring it up. Uh, it's just, you, you just, you think sometimes, what goes through people's minds? What goes through your minds? What goes through your cotton picking mind? All right. New, uh, so we said New York Times, uh, AP said can't uh, trust the results. Um, sad day today. Uh, Robert Conrad. Uh, Robert Conrad died at the age of 84. I loved Robert Conrad. I remember the commercial he used to say when he t I dare you to knock this battery off my shoulder. He was in Wild Wild West when Wild Wild West was not a movie, the original Wild Wild West. And my all time favorite, Black Sheep Squadron, that was when he was a Marine fire pilot. And I've told the story that my grandfather, my grandfather was a Lieutenant Colonel fighter pilot in uh, the Marines during World War II and the Korean War and was a part of Black Sheep Squadron that Pappy Boyington, who was played by Robert Conrad, uh, for just a little small uh, bit of time. And I guess he lost money, or my grandfather lost money to Pappy Boyington. So um, Robert Conrad uh, is no longer with us. All right, um, as we said, we might have a surprise guest this week about the reset and um, something more. I can't say anything more than something more. Good stuff, though. Good stuff. All right. With all this stuff, the pain, it's going to be biblical. We're going to re read the latest Q post. Pain is going to be biblical. So what do you do for pain? You get extreme terpenes. So get your extreme terpenes on the His Glory Family Partners. Click on there. Get your extreme terpenes today. Christian Company. We're going to have Vicky on. Uh, maybe this week, but I'm not sure because we, uh, we could have a full plate of people coming on His Glory TV this week. So we might have to push it into next week. But as we've been saying, she's got a couple new products that are going to come out. So look for that. Uh, we will let you know as soon as they are coming out and what they are. Oh, also, really cool news. Really cool news. If you, I don't have it with me, but if you remember, if you're watching last week, I got from Bethlehem the... Um, the, and, uh, when I was in Bethlehem, I ordered a, a nativity scene. And this nativity was built, handcrafted, one of a kind, out of olive wood. And it came in last week, came in in perfect condition. Uh, I know the owners of the Bethlehem, uh, they're Christians in the, in the Palestinian area of Bethlehem. Our tour group went there. Our tour, tour, tour group um, um, our tour group will go back again in July and August. Speaking of that, we will have the itinerary out this coming week for the, uh, the July-August uh, Israel trip and uh, Greece. Um, good, good, it's going to be an incredible trip. But anyway, uh, from Bethlehem, I was, I was emailing with the owner of the company over the weekend, and we are going to provide a partnership uh, to their store in Bethlehem. So if you go on our tours, we'll always go and support them face to face that you can go see their jewelry, see their handcrafted olive wood. But we're going to have a partnership. Hopefully by the end of the week, there will be a dedicated link that you can go to His Glory Family Partners and you'll be able to buy from their website in Bethlehem and every dollar spent will support Christians in Bethlehem. Remember the Christians in Bethlehem are being chased out by the Palestinians. There's no work other than their shops or the a family of, of Christians have get, got together to have this incredible store. Um, so uh, look forward to that. It is just incredible stuff, and we want to support the Christians. And uh, I don't want to put the cart before the horse, but there's a discount for His Glory family followers, or His Glory followers and family members. When you purchase, your, uh, purchase you'll get a 15% discount. And again, it uh, supports... Um, the Christians in Bethlehem, and the products are incredible. And you can trust the shipping. If they can ship what they sent to me, perfect. They can ship anything. <laughs> Woo. All right, Wells Fargo. Here we go. Here we go. Um, um, 
Wells Fargo is in trouble again. Wells Fargo. Uh, Wells Fargo uh, denounced by Marco Rubio of, of Florida uh, because of they were taking of they were withdrawing donations um, from the bank on their own from the voucher program in Florida for uh, organizations that were against um, homosexuality and transgender. So Wells Fargo took it upon themselves to stop giving money that was supposed to go to somebody else. No more to Wells Fargo. Guess what, Wells Fargo? Your days are, your days are numbered. It's going to be a beautiful thing when Wells Fargo. Uh, <laughs> it's going to be a beautiful thing when Wells Fargo goes. Soon. Very soon. Very soon. More information last week on the reset. As I said, we may have a special guest coming in to explain the reset to you next week that's connected to this and more. Remember we said probably about two or three weeks ago that uh, many of our sources are now saying uh, they're going to either them or somebody they know uh, want to come forward. So uh, many people are coming forward. It is the time. So let's get our bodies ready. Bodies ready. It's tough going through with you. You see winter in the background. It's 30 some degrees. It's February 9th. You know, you got probably another 35 days, maybe 45 days of winter. Uh, it's still in you. Uh, we just got to keep, keep chugging along. That's why you need a Beamer. We got to get your Beamer. Get your Beamer session. Matter of fact, there, there's a Beamer conference going on, I think, right now. It's Saturday and Sunday. Uh, the couple that went, well, one of the couples that went to Israel with us are at the Beamer conference, I believe, because they got in touch with my wife because uh, she went to the conference on Thursday. So get your Beamer. Get on to His Glory Family Partners. Get your Beamer session today. Beamer is is money. I don't know what I would be. There's nowhere I would be today without extreme terpenes and the Beamer. Um, just just incredible. Uh, sleep better, so much better. And uh, things are so much better with the Beamer. All right. Um, the mayor of San Bernardino was, uh, was accused of sexual harassment, misconduct by two former employees. This is just a number, another part of the house of cards coming down. Remember, it's going to get deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper because this goes back to what we said back in February of last year where the Black Hawk helicopters came down. Not only did they get the information on Nexum and all the, all the Hollywood people and government people and banking system people that are tied to that and Epstein, uh, not, not only stopped the dirty bomb, but they also got the files and the hard drives on politicians in California. It's getting closer, 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 closer. Oh. It's nowhere to run, nowhere, nowhere to escape. Also was told, I, I, I can't stand the Oscars. I didn't even know uh, the Oscars were this week until I was talking to Stacey Dash the, earlier in the week. And she said, yeah, I'm, uh, this will be the first time I've gone to the Oscars in several years, she told me. So she'll be at the Oscars tonight. Maybe they'll see Stacey on TV. Um, I still got to ask her about uh, the Roe versus Wade movie. That hasn't come out yet. It was supposed to come out in the fall, I thought. Um, that's supposed to be a really good movie. Speaking of really good movies, Macaroni Bear, as we mentioned, he was his birthday on Friday. We had a couple of his friends over to spend the night. The three teenagers uh, spending the night is always a rough night, but uh, it all went well. Anyway, we have some educational programming to watch with Creed today because we're going to homeschool him. We're going to have him watch Schindler's List. I've never seen the movie Schindler's List all the way through. So today is going to be a education for the Scarlet family this afternoon. We decided that we need to do that. All right, um, we're gonna read the Q drops, Q drops. Uh, it's going to be biblical. So there was many Q drops that came out. It ties into the Glenn Beck, what I'm gonna talk about too, what Glenn Beck show. Again, if you have not seen the Glenn Beck show, go and watch this last of the Glenn Beck show. This is very, very entertaining. He does an incredible job of putting all the pieces together. I haven't seen the first one or the second one. I've seen all of Rudy's. Uh, and you're going to see where the whistleblower fits into this. Um, all right, let's do in the Q, Q, the Q drops. Uh, February 8th, yesterday. Uh, today's the 9th. So February 8th, trust and believe in yourself. Q drop 8343. Uh, YouTube link, 
For every time the, they carry the darkness of humanity, there's one of that holds the light. And that light is worth believing in, not just in others, but in yourself as well. CM Rain, trust and believe in yourself. The silent war continues, Q. And we're gonna see how mainstream media is part of this. Uh, twi a tweet, high fives, searching for the truth. Q drop 3844, uh, three, a QAnon, searching for the truth. Uh, 3845, New Jersey correction officers charged with receipt of child pornography. Remember I talked about that on February 6th? It wasn't an accident. Maybe I got a heads up on this. There was another tweet that we sent out about Disney. And immediately people came in and at, at me at, on Twitter and said, well, that's an old article that happened a long time ago. Well, maybe there's more behind it. Relax, just let it come, like this one. All right, New Jersey correction officer charged with receipt of child pornography. Go into the article. This was dropped by Q on 3845 on February 8th. Cheese pizza. Not an accident. I can't eat pizza ever again. I, matter of fact, we went and took uh, my son, his two friends out, me and my wife, and my older, bro uh, older brother, my older son and his girlfriend. We all went to Sky Zone, a place where they can jump around on trampolines, and my wife and I were just talking for a couple hours while they jumped. And it was a pizza place, and I had zero pizza. I don't think I can eat pizza ever again after this. It's probably good for my waist, but it's deeper than that. All right, Q Post 3846, Secretary Pompeo knows which governors have sold out to China. Massachusetts is one, Indiana. It's gonna get biblical. He knows what, so it's not just the politicians in the federal government, it's the politicians in the state government too, governors. And then form public threatens those in power, Q. A lot of people don't like Mike Pompeo, and there's a good reason, because he's gonna help bring the hammer. Remember he was in the CIA first, not by accident. Once he got through the CIA, he went to the state. The state is a quagmire. And you see that Venman, gone. Both Venmans, gone. They didn't get fired, they just got moved out of the national security, but they got bigger problems. They got bigger problems. They're tied, they're cooked. They're cooked in the squat. Um, uh, Maria Yovanovitch Yo 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 resigned last week from uh, her position uh, in the State Department, no coincidence. Remember we kept saying Chalupa, Chalupa, Chalupa. It's not a Taco Bell special, follow her. Victoria Nuland. Ukraine and more, it's all coming to a head. Why did they resign? Why would, why did now, did the president move them out of there? Hmm, Sonderland, he's not the ambassador of the, of the, of the, 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 uh, the EU anymore. Let go, hammered, you're fired, why? We're getting to the truth. You'll see more when I get into more of this Glenn Beck. When you do the math and follow the money, follow the money enlightens everything. 3847, Pompeo knew about China's United Front Work Department from his days leading the CIA. Q proof. Uh, this is a tweet. Uh, and Julian's rum confirmed. Q. Uh, Q post 3848, Senator Lindsey Graham, half the people involved in the Russia investigation are going to jail. He's not just whistling Dixie. Speaking of going to jail, we're told it's public, not public, not main, not from mainstream media, because we are the news now. We are the, we the people. We're going to be working on a We the People shirt this week. Um, we the People, His Glory shirt. Keep sending us your ideas for uh, clothing. We're, 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 we're revamping the clothing line in, the, in the His Glory uh, merchandise. Uh, we're trying to get a handle on that. But anyway, um, He's not whistling Dixie. So this is out there now, not from mainstream media, because the mainstream media won't tell you the truth. They're criminals, they're, uh, they're literally criminals. They literally will be going to jail and worse, uh, worse, worse, tradition, uh, uh, sedition and treason. Um, but uh, two were reported, we're told, we were told a couple days ago and didn't want to get ahead of, uh, get ahead of ourselves, but now it's starting to sneak out there. I think we tweeted this out from other sources too, that, uh, Tuesday or Wednesday, I believe, it's sounding like um, you may see Peter Strzok and uh, McCabe charged. So the rest, are, people are saying, well, public arrest. We're gonna see it soon, very soon. As soon as this week. That's what Lindsey Graham was talking about. It goes deeper. And they're now peeling back. 
That's why it was impeachment. They wanted to hold off the real investigation. There are a lot of Congress people in the Senate and in Congress, like Nancy Pelosi and Chuck Schumer, that are freaking out right now. Joe Biden, Hunter Biden, freaking out. Barack Obama, where are you, Barack? They're coming for you. Glenn Beck, just put you in the squares. John Kerry threw you in front of the bus. John Kerry. All right, tweet. so this was a tweet. Uh, the bottom half uh, was instructed 99% good. The, the first will send a shockwave, Q. So he's, he's uh, talking about uh, going to jail and what we were told a couple days ago before this Q drop. Uh, I'm not sure if I was told who it was. I think I was, I think I was. And there's a couple others that are gonna go too. You know the names, call me and the big one, JB, JB, JB. Oh, JB, oh, JB, oh, JB. All right, so look forward to that. Those are the Q drops. Um, it's going to be biblical. Uh, so biblical that everything is going to re, re, uh, revert back to gold. Gold. And we're going to see how the IMF, the, uh, uh, um, the, the monetary fund, the IMF, how crooked they are, how they were tied to Ukraine and the missing $7 billion, uh, the, how the IMF was tied into that, that um, Glenn Beck will show you. IMF are dirty, dirty bad Oreos. Bad Oreos. Remember, the gold wins. So get your gold back, digital currency. Uh, we'll have that up hopefully this week on the His Glory Family Partners. We are working on, as we know, as you know, a card that will be uh, the line of Judah, Israel, and the United States with the gold on it. Uh, only we and Pope John, I think, are the only two that have this that will have their own card. And somebody added me the other day about, oh, I don't want to be vetted by the being vetted by the Vatican is a bad thing. Yes on most things, but when the Vatican comes to money, when the Vatican takes a painting or the Vatican takes gold, they vet it and make sure it's real and it's worth money. That's one thing they do do right. So that was my point, not that the Vatican is good. You know, I could, I, as Sean Andy could say, I, I could cure cancer and give everybody $10 million and they'd still at me. Maybe both of those things are coming. Who knows? Not for me from him. All right, as Rudy Giuliani said to somebody I know very well, this is a gift from God. This is a gift from God. It certainly is, Rudy Giuliani. We'll see you soon. All right, so hisglorygold at gmail.com. It's a way to get in. This is one gram of gold. You, you'll be able to get in one-tenth a gram. You can get in the, in the, the, the cryptocurrency, digital currency uh, that's backed by gold. Or, and or gold itself at a lower price point or a little, little smaller fractions. Uh, so get your uh, gold back digital currency today. Hisglorygold at gmail.com. Again, we'll have that up on His Glory Family Partners this week. And again, we'll have our partners, great, great owners in Bethlehem uh, that you'll get to be able to see the store in Bethlehem. And if you go with us to Greece and to Israel, you're going to go to Bethlehem and see them in, or see, see them in person, go to their store. Uh, it'll be a great reunion to go back and meet with them after I just came back. Um, <laughs> it would be good. So we'll have that up there as well. Amazon, Google, Netflix, Twitter made the list of businesses that uh, are, are um, uh, exploiting, uh, sex, uh, ex, uh, they're, they're involved in sexual exploitation, says a watchdog. They are named in the Dirty Dozen group. Imagine that. Imagine that, those who scream the loudest. Those who scream the loudest. Okay, before we get into the last piece, because all this kind of runs in together, and I want to explain the, the whistleblower so people can understand this. This thing is so complicated. This whole big piece of the 17 scandals, and if you break it down just to the Ukraine piece, how complicated it is, that's one of the things that the deep state likes to do, make it so complicated that it makes it impossible for you to fo follow it. It's just like, uh, it's over my head. It's too hard to follow. I give up. Uh, let's just, uh, uh, it's too much. So we're going to try to break it down and make it simple today. Kind of recap what the whistleblower said. All right, um, before we do, your donations to His Glory are so important to us with all the production we're coming out with. Uh, we want to do so many things in production. Uh, we're already talking about our next docu-series, uh, uh, upgrading our production uh, as we go. 
Uh, so if you hit the donate button, um, it's going to be very important for us when we go live next Sunday uh, because we will be the church to many people going forward. So hit the donate button on uh, His Glory. A uh, regular donation or a reoccurring donation or send a check or money order on our P.O. box. God bless you. That's what withstands us. Every dollar that comes in goes back out. We have no building costs, no salary costs, but it does cost money to produce. The bigger you get, the more you got to add to it. People don't understand that. So uh, God bless you for that. All right, Glenn Beck. It's called The Final Piece. It ties into Rudy, ties into The Whistleblower. Um, I did watch that today. Um, I'm trying to think if I was surprised by anything. I'm, nothing surprises me really anymore. The only thing that I did not know was the IMF piece to this, uh, which doesn't surprise me. Um, when will the De Dearborn document come out? Soon. It's funny that you asked about the Dearborn document. Um, the production team that's handling our production is the one that actually did um, the Dearborn uh, docu documentary. We were waiting for the final, the final part of the Dearborn document to be done, and that is a partnership, okay? Uh, it has to do with the well in Kenya. I got good news last week, I think Friday, maybe it's Friday. Good news on Friday. The well has been approved, and it is, uh, not more expensive than we thought. So I think $3,000 is what we have to do the well uh, for the well. And I think we got 15, 15 or 1,800, maybe close to 2,000. And so we're only $1,000 short of the well fund. Um, so that's good news. So answering your question about the Dearborn document, that was the last piece because that ties into the final part of the Dearborn document, docu-series. Um, and we have to figure out how we're going to launch that because it was very costly to do that. So we'll see. A lot of people love a lot of people love watching His Glory TV, but a lot of, a lot of people a lot of people don't like to give to His Glory TV. They watch it for free. Well, it doesn't. It, we can't do a docu series for free. Oh, uh, trust me. My my dad used to say. It's so one thing I always remember. There's no such thing as a free lunch. There's no such thing as a free lunch. That's so true. There isn't a thing as a free lunch. All right, Glenn Beck, going back to the, the piece of Rudy Whistleblower. Um, it, the IMF piece is the, is the one that really hit home to me. On the IMF had a meeting uh, uh, about Ukraine on the same day that President Trump uh, took the call, the, the infamous July 25th call. And if I don't and see... I want you to go in and see this. Um, uh, you, I want you to go see this from, from Glenn Beck. It's really detailed. Uh, I think I've tweeted this out, uh, the YouTube of that. If not, I'll try to go back and tweet it out. But if we have people following, uh, refer them to Glenn Beck's last uh, final pieces of Ukraine. It's very good. Anyway, uh, we've always, remember we always said when this came down about the Bidens, it was deeper than the Bidens. It, the Bidens are corrupt and the Bidens are in this, but it's much bigger. Crowd strike, uh, Atlantic Council, uh, State Department, uh, elections being um, uh, trying to be swung. A proxy war is what uh, Glenn Beck will tell you, a proxy war, a financial war, kind of a uh, Iran-Contra part 2.0. Um, so let's get into it. An oligarch that, no, that mainstream media does not talk about that's tied to Burisma. He, this guy was so bad, he could not get a visa into the United States because he was a known murderer. And as Glenn Beck would say, chainsaw. He used chainsaws to cut people up like the mafia does. This guy was a bad, or is a bad Oreo. This is the guy that was on the board of Burisma. And they were using the money laundering, the first money laundering, it was caught by the UK government back in 2014. They were sending money through the Cyprus, then Latva, and that's when the UK stopped it. Uh, that's exactly what Rudy said. Um, Kerry, uh, Kerry spilled Obama this week. The Obama knew all about this. And as Glenn Beck will tell you in this thing, uh, Obama had to know about this. And it had to be much deeper than the Bidens because if it was about the Bidens, it wouldn't have got... It is about the Bidens, but it's far deeper. Um, but lo and behold, John Kerry and um, Joe Biden go and they get this oligarch who is a murderer who wouldn't be allowed in the United States 
approved for a visa to get in the United States. Kind of like the visa that was approved by Preet. Remember Preet? You're not out of the woods yet, Preet Barrer. And the Attorney General, she knew about it, allowing the, the uh, Russian uh, that was, was banned to try to meet at Trump Tower to set up Donald Trump uh, Jr. Uh, it's coming back to roost. It's coming back to roost. Oh, the Attorney General is in deep trouble. So the paperwork that, uh, so that you don't just open up a visa when somebody's not allowed in unless you have a dirty purpose for that. They allowed him in. Uh, and then Glenn Beck will go in to show you that it's more than a quid pro quo, it's a win-win. And I was watching a movie last night. My wife and I watch a movie. We try to watch a movie on Saturday night. The only time that we can take, take a breath and watch a movie together. Anyway, we watched something called Liars, Liars, or something like that, and where they were both playing, outdo each other financially and trying to get each other's money, and they always had dirt and leverage on the other one. It's the same thing. It's the same thing what we're talking about. It's gotta have leverage. So Biden just didn't do that unless this oligarch had leverage on Biden as well. And that's what they were using each other for, leverage, leverage for what? Money, to run a covert war against Russia for military. $1.8 million, billion dollars with a B, disappeared. And oh, by the way, we sent $1.8 billion to the Ukraine banks, the bank that was owned by the oligarch, who was an ax or a chainsaw murderer. Again, this is all in Glenn Beck's. Glenn Beck is showing you the proof of this. Uh, the paperwork that he showed, Glenn Beck, in his article what, named CrowdStrike. Remember, CrowdStrike was not just uh, what Hillary Clinton used, but deeper, uh, Atlantic Council. That's where our whistleblower comes in, who was on the board of Atlantic Council, that, General Hayden. Uh, we're going to get to the whistleblower, how this all ties into this. Remember, that all these big politicians, they make these shell companies, they fight these proxy wars, these money comes in through our taxpayer dollars, it's funneled out, it's racketeered, they get rich on war, and it's, it's not Republican or Democrat. They all work together to do it. So Atlantic Council, uh, this is a big bombshell. Um, he said on Monday's show that he was going to save the documents of his show and the documents he received that are documents proving what I just said, and he was going to give them to Senator Chuck Grassley. Well, lo and behold, what does Chuck Grassley do this week? We see on a Q post that Chuck, the actual letter that Chuck Grassley sent to the Secret Service saying, we want to know from the director of the Secret Service every single flight that Hunter Biden was on and every time that you gave him security and the, uh, and, uh, the former vice president, the whole nine yards. He also sent documentations to the State Department. For, for, for information. He sent documentation, or he sent a request to the U.S. Treasury to get the financial pieces of Hunter Biden. <sighs> See, they are working, and Chuck Grassley's working on this, and Rob Johnson's working on this. A uh, lot is starting to happen quickly. So the U.S. Treasury Department, we do now know, has sent, has sent the records to Chuck Grassley. That's going to be the missing piece that Glenn Beck said. I can't show you, but the U.S. Treasury can. Well, we hope. They've got $21 trillion in a check that my sources have given them, literally, that hasn't hit the books yet. $21 trillion with a T. And now we know there was more than $1.8 billion. There was another $7 billion on there. Almost $9 billion went to Ukraine. one8 to bail out a bank that was run by the chainsaw oligarch who happens to be the head of Burisma too. You can't make this stuff up. And then Zelensky, the new president, when he was a comedian who ran for president and won and shocked Ukraine, the comedy TV show that he was on was owned by the oligarch. You see there's something here? Anyway. Uh, so Grassley with the Q releases, Grassley memo, Secret Service, U.S. Treasury, uh, sent on Hunter Biden. Lawsuit in Air Arkansas, the civil lawsuit uh, about a ch a Hunter's uh, child that he had with a woman. Remember that story? That's very important. Uh, it came in Arkansas. His lawyers 
did a settlement that he, they would provide the, 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 the financials other than the time that he was at the five years that he was at Burisma. Why? But now the lawyers for the woman are coming back because there's new evidence. So they're going to get all the records. Tick tock, tick tock. Um, and Devin Archer. Remember, Devin Archer is tied close to John Kerry. Even John Kerry steps on said, no, I can't do this. This is way out there. This was so far dark that John Kerry steps on said, no way, this is even dark for me. I'll stick with the Heinz ketchup. Uh, so these were bank loans for the Ukraine. We bailed out Ukrainian banks. And when nobody knows where the money is, you, the taxpayer, we, the people, sent $1.8 million of taxpayer dollars to Ukraine and it disappeared. You know what? Nothing disappears. It went in the hands of the oligarch and these politicians. And then the, the IMF gets involved. You can't make this stuff up. The same day that the call President Trump takes to Zelensky, the famous call where the, the impeachment started, the IMF is giving a press conference on Ukraine about set the, seven, the other $7 billion. There was a total of $8.8 .8 billion that went to Ukraine. Wow. Um, IMF pressed uh, the, the, the POTUS talks with Zelensky on July 25th, uh, follow the money. So going back to the whistleblower, so all this comes up. He, I'm not going to go into detail of this. Glenn Beck goes into detail. He's got a chalkboard up there. He'll give you great detail of it. Go see this. It's a must-see for everybody to put, to put everything together. This is where the whistleblower comes in, though. Okay, This is why it was important that the whistleblower came on his Glory TV last week. He's, he's giving you that little sliver that puts everything together, not just in Ukraine, but deeper. So um, the whistleblower that came on for part one and part two, here are the names that he named. Remember, General Hayden, there's ties to the Atlantic Council. The Atlantic Council was named in the Ukrainian madness with the IMF and the, law, and the money laundering and the Bidens. General Hayden, General Jones, uh, Manafort, McCain, Romney, Atlantic uh, Council, remember all the shell companies he was talking about. He didn't call them shell companies, but he said, yeah, there was companies that were only like five people worked in that. That's almost like a shell company. Um, Giuliani, three witnesses ready to name names for Hunter Biden, Biden probe. That's just coming on OAN. Uh, so those are some of the names that the whistleblower talked about. So let's go back to what the whistleblower had to say, okay, and, and, and try to make this as simple as possible. Now, the whistleblower, when he was in Iran, or not Iran, Iraq and Afghanistan, Okay. He worked for a high intelligence to get his classification of classified was the highest. That's why he couldn't tell you everything. That's why we want him to be able to go and speak to Rudy Giuliani or somebody on the president's team in a secured environment where he can talk about classified, highly classified information without keep being thrown in jail. He doesn't want to go to jail. He wants to bring them out. Speaking of going to jail, uh, Graham supports removal of Lieutenant Colonel Vindman from the National Security Council. Both Benmans were involved in this. Maria Yovanovitch, they're involved in this. Victoria Newland's involved in this. Obama, deaths, 100 people were murdered in this. this. This thing is just going to spread wide open. So he was, he was uh, the whistleblower was creating something for military top secret cyber ops, black ops, okay? He can't go into what it was and what it was used, but you can, you can surmise this had the interference of foreign governments. Okay, we in interfere with foreign governments all the time, elections and, and, and so forth. And this is how it ties into Iowa. Same name of the company that was used by the General, General Jones and Hayden, who was on the, on the board, were the same names and used in Iowa. Crowd, crowd, or, uh, uh, Crowdnet, or not Crowdnet, but uh, I can't remember the two names. Uh, one was Acronym, was Acronym. But anyway, Shadow, Shadow, Shadow is what it's called. And he was, he was shadow net. So what they would do with this software, they, they, they just developed the software that they were used as a contractor to help the U.S. government to do those kind of things and some of the things I can't say either. But you can put two and two together what they were trying to do and impact elections. But this, this advanced, what is called AI, artificial intelligence, where you gather all this data. You always wonder, why do all these media companies want to have this data? The more data they have on you, the more they can, uh, they can, they, they can do things. 
Uh, they can find things before. China, China has implemented AI to put a social media uh, score on their citizens. So whether you get a loan or whether you get a job or any of that stuff is based on your social media score that they take all this data. And that's what this app was designed to do. But this, this app could influence elections, could change results, could do more than that. He was talking about mainstream media, uh, where Jillian Turner, at the same time she was a, a reporter at Fox, she was on the board or worked as a vice president for General Jones in this company that was doing these things. Conflict of interest, the Huntsman's, can't make this up, on a board of Atlantic Council, uh, was the U.S. ambassador to Russia. You can't make this stuff up. Um, Morning Joe and his wife, Brzezinski, tied to this as well. I don't think he named that name. Uh, there's more that I'll let him name in the next one that we do. Uh, so they were using shell companies to hide this money to, to, to do uh, proxy wars, and the media was covering this up. So this is all tied in together. Um, so a couple other things that this would do, and they believe that media and Fortune 100 companies are using this software. Uh, the, the software has the capability of doing this to your employees. So you know everything that employee will do. Are they more likely to steal? Are they more likely to leak? Are they more likely to whatever? All this data can be through AI can stop things from happening. He, used it, he mentioned the example of using police, police departments. Uh, part of the software that they used is to be able to identify is somebody going to commit a crime? Are they on the brink of, a, of, a, of an active shooter based on their social media profile and bringing all this data together? And then they use this money and they siphon it and they do a lot of horrible things. And again, war is money, literal war, because it feeds, feeds the engine, feeds the deep state, feeds the IMF, feeds the, it feeds the, uh, it, it feeds the entire cabal. So um, a lot of people came back and said, well, why would Sarah Carter, Judge Jeanine, and Devin Nunez that he named, why would they stop this? I don't know the answer to this. But we do know, since the, the whistleblower came out, that there was a memo leaked by the tops of Fox News saying that Rudy Giuliani, John Solomon, and Sean Hannity are disinformation. This is coming from all the time. Remember, Paul Ryan's on the board of Fox. Remember the Murdoch boys? Remember Bill Barr went and met with Rupert Mur Murdoch? Hmm, what were they meeting about? There's a lot of bad Orioles at Fox News, and they, we know they are corrupted. And why do they go after Sean Hannity, Rudy Giuliani, and John Solomon? Well, what's the next extension of Rudy Giuliani, D John Solomon, and Sean Hannity that probably hasn't been mentioned? If you're going to put a, a band together, who worked with Sean Hannity all the time to bring the stuff to fruition? Who do you have on his show the most? He had Sarah Carter. So if you say John Solomon, you should say Sarah Carter. And if you say Sarah Carter, where do they get the information? Judge Janine has exposed a lot of this, and so is Devin Nunez. Dev, all of them, I believe, are heroes. And it's my belief that they held back until all this information came out because you can't get ahead of stories. Everything is on a pawn, like in a chessboard, and it has to go at the, per, the, the proper timing. That's my belief. I don't know that for a fact, but that's my belief. I believe Sarah Carter, Judge Janine, and Devin Nunez are doing things to help the United States of America. And that would only make sense. Remember Sean Hannity has been told no many times about Seth Rich. Now the Seth Rich story is coming out. Remember we said a week, a week ago there's going to be more information coming out Seth Rich. It did on Friday, saying the FBI lied about the story. What they said was not true. And you heard the whistleblower say, based on his, uh, his, his, his forensics, and we know forensic specialists have looked at the actual download of the files, and it, had, it was done by a thumb drive. It could not have been by a hostile government somewhere else. Um, so all this stuff is coming out um, as we speak. So how are we doing? 44 minutes. I hope that was simple enough. Go see... Go see uh, Glenn Beck, so you can put these pieces together and we'll come back. It is so complicated. Sometimes we just have to take a step back and take a little another bite at the apple and, and, and look at things like two or three times before it clicks. I've been following this thing for over two years in depth. I've known about Project Z back to 2010 with Chuck Bissler, so my eyes were wide open a long time ago. Um, but it is so deep. 
and so, so wicked and sinister. That's why the American people, I keep hearing from people saying, just arrest them, just arrest them. They get all frustrated, just arrest them. You, you see why you have to take your time? This thing is so complicated. You, you rush it and you go to a judge, it gets thrown out. You got to wake people up and we're getting people finally awake because you got to take small bites to get awake because there's nobody, nobody that can, can take this all on at once. And if you're trying to um, enlighten somebody, you're trying to bring the light of what is truly going on and you don't know them, uh, or you're, they're a family man, they don't know what's going on, you gotta, you gotta start slow in small pieces. Don't say here and then all, don't, don't say, okay, yes, the, uh, there's a deep state and uh, uh, it was tied to assassination of Donald Trump and John F. K. Jr. is alive and Elizabeth Presley is alive and uh, go to, to extremes. Just keep it small. Keep it small. Keep it small. Keep it small. So people can digest it. Digest it. It's like chew your food. I remember my great grandmother, who was who brought me the Jewishness of my family line. Her name was Ora. Means light in Hebrew. She used to tell me. She goes, David, you eat your food too fast. Don't not eat your food too fast. You chew it a hundred times. She actually made me sit and count and chew my food a hundred times until I could swallow. Uh, she also ate beets every day. And that's probably why she, when she was 84 years old, she was, uh, she was playing kickball with me. At young, I was younger than Macaroni Bear. I was like nine or 10, I think. All right, um, we're gonna close up. We're at 46 minutes. Boy, 46 minutes goes fast. Watch the Oscars. I'm told watch the Oscars for codes tonight. Well, I, I don't really want to watch the Oscars. I really don't. I wish somebody could just watch the codes for me. I don't know if I'm going to watch the Oscars. I don't know if I can pain myself through that. Um, but I'm told Oscars are going to be a hoot. Uh, we're, look, we're, as I said earlier, I was told to look for two arrests this week. Uh, it's going to be a biblical pain coming. Uh, the names that were given are, are, I think we tweeted them out, and the, uh, we're not the only one. Remember, too, I've got to make this clear. Um, i got to get rid of all those, those notes um, as they drop all over the floor. Um, many, are, many are reporting the two names, uh, uh, McCabe and uh, Strzok, as uh, people being arrested as, as, as soon as Tuesday, possibly. I don't know why they'd wait till Tuesday. But anyway, that's what I was told, and I see other people saying that. The sources that I get, okay, whether they be the financial reset sources or a whistleblower or the, the six or seven, actually, I, I have, I think, nine or ten sources. I got one, two sources that are so detailed that they're books, and I got to do a better job of having enough time to go back and read their, 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 book, their, their, their briefings. They're incredible. I read one the other day uh, online about... Um, the, corona, the coronavirus, and he was just incredible. So I have seven to nine, seven I use uh, primarily all the time, but anyway, uh, they're telling other people too. I'm not the only one they tell this. You know, it's not a lot of huge group of people, but that's part of the Great Awakening. There's no coincidence, I think like four or five, I think five times now, I was told something word for word within minutes of a Q drop or a president retweeting the same information. <laughs> it's not a coincidence. Coincidence isn't a kosher word. All right, so we wrapped up 48 minutes. That's a lot for a Sunday. <laughs> small digestion, small digestion. Chew your food 100 times before you swallow. My great grandma knew a lot. She was very wise, very wise. So we pray for our president as this is going to be a big, big, big week. Uh, we, well, also, there's a, uh, a shooting targeting police officers in New York City. Uh, I didn't get into Antifa. Antifa riots, uh, they're trying to create uh, havoc. So we pray for our law enforcement. We pray against these Antifa thugs. We need to make Antifa a known uh, terrorist organization. Arrest these people. Uh, military's on the line, so we pray for a president discernment. This is now the time of the offense. Things are going back on the offensive. These people are running for their lives, literally. Uh, it's insane what is coming. It's going to be biblical. It is going to be biblical. Uh, it's it's tick tock. It's tick tock. These bad Oreos are going to pay the price. And if you haven't had a bad Oreo, there's nothing worse than a bad Oreo. 
trust me, I don't like Oreos. They taste fake anyway, but when you have a bad one, they're bad. You can't get the taste out of your mouth. Um, so we pray for our military. We pray for the president's, uh, the, the president's team. And as I'm saying this, uh, Intel is blowing up. Uh, maybe somebody's arrested already. I don't have time to get into that. Maybe we'll tweet it out. Uh, if there's more information comes to do another Take 5 tonight, we'll do that. But I don't think there will be. Uh, but you never know. You never know. You never know. Uh, but most importantly, we pray for each and every one of you, each one of you to be a light in these end days, a light, uh, a light to a friend, a light to a family member, or even a light to a stranger. We need to unite in one body, we are the church. Christ is ahead. It's one church. One church. We are the church. We need to awaken people. The great awakening has everything to do about the light shining on the dark of Jesus Christ. We need to bring him to Christ. We love Christ and we put Christ first. We love a Q&A. Unfortunately, we do not have time for the Q&A. There's too much information coming. And we have to get in a better flow of the Q&A because the Q&A, we might have to have emails come in on your Q&A to do it uh, next time because some, a lot of times the Q&A gets, it gets too slow to try to find the questions. So in the future, what we may do is have somebody answer the questions here in the studio that I can answer or have you send your uh, Q&A questions in prior. That's what a lot of places do. So um, we, we will do that in the future. Um, but there's just too much information coming on right now. So go in shalom, go in his peace. May the, may the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob bless each and every one of you. Shalom.